Are your blocks lying to you? Let me show you how they very well could be. So for this demonstration, I've got a foam rubber type block here and a linear block. We're gonna use the linear wet sandpaper. We're gonna start with a thousand grit on this particular car. So what we're gonna do is block one quarter with a linear block and one quarter with a foam block. Now, as you can see, the bodywork is very good on these. They're straight. This clear has been drying for about three weeks now. So now it's time to start cutting it open. You can see it's got a very slight little ripple in it. Uh, that's what we're looking for before we before we start cutting. We want the clear to be nice and hard. This is a perfect example to use for this particular demonstration. So on this side, I'm gonna start with the linear block with 1000 grit linear wet sandpaper, sticky back wet sandpaper on the linear block. I'm gonna start blocking this. I'm not gonna block the entire thing. I'm gonna block a nice big area. And I'll show you guys the difference. So after only a few swipes with the linear block, you can see every little bit of orange peel that's in this panel. Uh, this looked very good. At uh, Looking down the panel, it looked very good. As clear dries and as paint systems dry, naturally they shrink, and that's where you get this peel from most of the time. This was not this peely when we sprayed it. That's why we let this dry. Let it shrink, let it dry, let it do what it wants to do before we cut and buff. But as you can see, after only a few swipes with the linear, it maps out every little bit of peel, big and small. So now I'm going to finish blocking this side out with the linear block, and then we're going to guide coat it and use a foam block and see if the foam block picks up anything that the linear block missed. On the other side, we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna start with the foam block and then guide coat it and run over it with a linear block. So now we're on to the driver's side. And as you can see, bodywork looks nice and straight. If you look at the straight lines in the reflection, you can see that little bit of peel that has shrunk back and dried into this clear. And that's what we're trying to achieve cutting out. So we're gonna use the foam block on this side until it tells us that this is straight. And then we're gonna guide coat this side and hit it with a linear block. So now as you can see on the driver's side, we hit this with a foam rubber type block. This says that this area is straight. There's no visible peel left in the sheen or the shine as there is like in this area where I stopped sanding, you can see the peel and you can see that it's sanded out in this area according to this block. So now what I'm gonna do is actually take a dry powder guide coat and rub it into these scratches. We did a thousand grit on this side, just like we did on the other side with the linear wet sandpaper. Same length of block, just a different type of block. So now we're gonna guide coat this and then we're gonna wet sand it with a thousand grit on the linear block and see if there's any imperfections that the foam block is running over. So now I'm going to block this quarter that was blocked with the foam block with the linear block and see what we find. We're still using 1000 grit linear wet sandpaper, same grit, same length of block, just a different block. So this side is foam block, 1000 grit, guide coated, hit with a linear block, 1000 grit. This is what is left behind by the foam and rubber blocks. So here on the passenger side quarter, we block this with the linear block. It's guide coated. We're also going to block this with a foam block and see if the foam block picks up anything that the linear block did not. So now on this side, we block this quarter with a linear block and to make this comparison fair, we're gonna go and block it with a foam block to compare using a linear first, using a foam first, et cetera, and the differences. So now I'm gonna let this down, I'm gonna block this the same way, foam block with 1,000 grit, same length block, same grit. So 
So this is the side we hit with linear first and then a foam block. And as you can see, the foam block did not pick up anything that the linear block may have missed because the linear block didn't miss anything. The key is the hard yet flexible surface. So let's go over some of the main differences between these blocks. This block is made of a rubber foam composite type material. If you look down this block, it's, it's not very flat. It's kind of cupped this way and it's bowed this way. And it will form to the shape of the panel somewhat. It's somewhat flexible. There's really no backbone to this type of block where it will distribute pressure evenly. A lot of times it'll put the pressure here and here, right where your hands are, or here and here if your hands are there. Foam and rubber type blocks will absolutely lie to you. And the one main reason is they are not hard enough. To get something truly straight, you have to use something harder than what you're sanding. And these foam rubber type blocks are not very hard. If you, if you watch my finger, I can actually push a divot in the block anywhere. So when you're blocking, if you have a high spot and you're blocking, your block is actually kind of compressing around that and it's not really cutting it. Where with the linear block, these are essentially like sanding with a piece of glass. They're very hard, very smooth, very flat, but flexible. They will conform to the shape of the panel with even press pressure distribution. That's why we have what we call the vertebrate design. You can put your hand anywhere on the block and it will distribute pressure evenly through its spine to the base of the block. Another thing with the linear blocks is everything is CNC cut, CNC routered, and radius. Linear blocks are available for sticky back and Velcro type papers. There's three different flexibilities. There's rigid, flex, and ultra flex. This is an, is an 18 inch flex right here slightly flexible for something like this quarter panel. Linear blocks are also available in any length from four inches up to eight feet.